Wow, uh, wow, geez, it's uh, been a couple of weeks here, maybe even three. Um, it's been distracted doing other things, but I think where I left off was to go and do some railroad quests. Um, I believe it was Camp Crandall, Randolph Safe House, and Bunker Hill. So let's head over super fast to. The Super Duper Mart in Lexington and go that way I think did I clear I did we can get the uh, well rested bonus and it's probably about time we start moving forward in the um, main quest I usually don't like to rush it um, let me get this radio really quick here there we go. Uh, there's a bed up here, I think, unless I scrapped it or left a skeleton on it. I didn't. <laughs> That'd be just a little too creepy. Leaving the skeleton on it. Alright. Oh, yes. We need to put some turrets. I need to start working on these settlements, too. We'll see how things go. Um, get a couple of videos done here. And then I'll probably do some work on some settlements just to get ready to go. Um, how many do we have under our control right now? Well, we have one, two, two, three. You could say four here. Five. I guess that's really all it is, is five, six, yeah, we're going to want to start getting that stuff built back up. We can push towards maybe getting old guns and taking back the castle perhaps. Those are probably pretty decent targets to get to shortly. Um, like I said, we won't be doing anything with the Brotherhood of Steel, and we won't be doing any any quests for well, not really do any quests for the Institute. Wow, nighty night. We still got we still got an enemy here somewhere. Where are you at there, Slick? Let's get you taken care of. He's probably hiding right back there just a little bit. Let's uh, loot the behemoth right quick. scrap that and scrap that. I don't think we need anything else. Not for now. Let's just clear this guy out here real quick. Distracted already. Oh, we definitely want the kickball. It's got rubber on it. Geez, I think we have to finish up. That Neon Flats quest, if I recall. I'm not sure we even finished that. Yeah, see? This is what happens when I play one of these games. Fallout or something. 
Skyrim. I even started playing a little Fallout 3. I got all the way through the Fire Ant quest and I ran out of ammo. I'm completely out of ammo and nobody has any to buy. I, don't know. I know it's an older game and I came to Fallout at a much different time. Because I started with Fallout 4, but. I seriously don't know how you people manage to play Fallout 3. I mean, <laughs> short on ammo, short on weapons, just, I, I for one am glad they overhauled the skill set, uh, the way you level up for Fallout 4. I'm, I'm sure other people aren't because they want like traits and personalities and all of this crap. And, you know, <laughs> just a fair warning to people that are begging for that kind of stuff. Um, in the farming simulator community, a bunch of players whined and moaned and complained about having stuff. And giants gave us stuff. And everybody in the world is paying the price for it now. So the old adage, be careful what you wish for because you just might get it, that holds true. So, I know that things like, of course, who knows? I mean, it doesn't look like I'll be playing Starfield because it's going to be on Xbox Series XS and I don't have either one of them and I, I've never even seen a Series X at the local store here. Not once. Um... I was lucky enough to get a PS5. It just so happened I was on the internet at that time. Um, but if Starfield is anything like the disaster that was Redfall, I mean, who wants to play it anyways? Nobody. Nobody's going to want to play that game. Boy, those red lights make him look pretty menacing in there. In that pod. Might as well pick this lock. We'll get XP for picking the lock. Come on. Yeah, I definitely am not a fan at the way the leveling system is. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay. In Fallout 3. Um, I don't like the fact that, you know, you have to allocate points. And it's a slow leveling system. I mean, God, I don't know how many hours I put in it. And I'm only like level 6. And I've run out of... Ammo. I mean, completely out of ammo. If it wasn't for the fact that I happened to snag a Chinese assault rifle by luck in some dungeon that I cleared, I wouldn't even be able to do that ant quest. Because I wouldn't have had enough ammo to even start it, let alone finish it. I haven't even left the Megaton facility as far as I've gone is to do that ant quest. We might as well not waste. Certain kinds of ammo. Hi fellas! Oh, and the controls are really clunky for Fallout 3. I know that when it came out it might not have felt that way. You know, we're so used to playing more advanced games like we have now. Um, and like I said, I was, unfortunately, I went backwards going from a more advanced game to 
an old clunky game, but yes. I tell you, in terms of clunkiness, Fallout 3 is even worse than the first Rage game. The first Rage game is actually not too... It's, it's actually kind of fun. It's just clunky and slow going and, you know, the... The shooting mechanics aren't great, but it's it's not terrible. I like the music, and I like the fact they have like a bunch of accented actors, voice actors for it. Oh God! I've got Skyrim lock picking on the brain right now, so this can take a while to get readjusted. Got it. I decided to do a bard build, and what I just the whole concept was to do as much as I hate to <laughs> every single faction in the game and tell a story which I'll be putting on my website about the experiences that my bard character had you know going from a mage to you know, a stealthy character to an all-out warrior. Even eventually being a werewolf and how she feels about all that stuff. I thought that'd be pretty fun. Which is why everything is so slow going. You know, I'm not a... I don't believe good writing comes from outlines. I believe the best writing is spontaneous and that allows the story to be told by characters and not by a piece of paper with an outline on it. I think they're more dynamic when they're told from the character. Um, so for somebody like me who doesn't do a lot of writing and doesn't do a lot of practicing, Sometimes it takes a while to get a story told. <laughs> and of course, I still want to do an evil playthrough. Well, I'll use evil very loosely. How about a raider focused playthrough of Fallout 4? Um, with a couple of rules so I don't ruin the game. Uh, I still think that'd be a lot of fun. We've been collecting bones, I know, and I'm just not interested in collecting any bones right now. Heard some movement. Ouch. Yeah. Surprise. <laughs> There you go. Nice. That's how you're supposed to do it. A mop? Really? How, what in the world? How'd that guy escape? Oh my god, how did all of you guys escape? Where did you come from? From underneath, I think. They like manifested from down below. No, because those, those markers are still there. Shot glass. We'll take his hat. Cool calibrate. Oh yes, yes please. We'll even take that gas canister. 
now it wants me to go down downstairs to get out. What the heck? This is stupid sometimes. I still hear some shambling. Oh, there's one. Hi. Right between the wickets. still do that anyways and just a just a goofy one oh hi jeez why are all these bodies still here they should have been getting cleaned up these are all from the first time we came in here so they should all be gone this guy just here What the heck? Why did I have the, uh... <laughs> the, uh... Why can't I jump on here? Salem. The Salem music. That seemed weird. What's going on with this game here? I think there was a secret update. Jeez, we got enough junk. <laughs> Let's see, we can turn to Desdemona. I don't know why they want me to go downstairs. There's a perfectly accessible exit right out the front door here. Sweet. So I have no idea what that's all about. Where are these guys coming from? My god. What, that, there's even more. Hey! That's enough. <laughs> He's running like his arrow's on fire. <laughs> fire burn? Fire hot? Christmas, where's the... Where's the aim here? I love it when they stay on fire like that. Getting all nice and toasty. That's that's pretty cool. Okay. Grizzly, I know. Okay. Um, whoops, what am I doing? Let's go to Fort Ticonderoga. Which is right here. What's flapping around me? Alright, let's, oops, wrong button. That's the Skyrim button. So, Weather Bane at Camp Kendall. Which is actually right over here. If you were a sniper, this is a pretty good sniper's roost right up here. You can, uh, climb up here and take quite a few of these raiders down if you can get yourself positioned appropriately with a sniper rifle. You know, it's a good location. Right in here. Actually, it might be. Let's see if we can't toss a grenade over there. Definitely want to toss one over here. <laughs> We got another one or two. I think they know we're here. Oh, love it. I love it when the... Uh, when the jacket flies up like that. That is so cool. There's a tree in the way, see? Oh, 
that situation right there is exactly why the fat man is not a great weapon. Why why am I having such a hard time aiming here? My perception is like 13. Oh hey. Somebody left the uh turret alive over there. There. Not anymore. Nothing. Okay. Let's go over here and take the goodies from this turret right quick. Alright, people, where are you? Come out, come out, wherever you're hiding. Varmints. She's so bright over here. Uh, no cover, no darkness, no nothing to hide under. They did a good job at keeping the middle awake, or awake. <laughs> Lit. Shouldn't have stopped. Stop, you get shot in the ass. Yep, that's what happens. Sucks, buddy. Scared, huh? Don't worry, I'll be right there. Oh, so much for surprise. Oh my goodness. She's got a plasma weapon. Or plasma infused one. Oh, hey. Somebody does. Oh, it's the bad guy up there. <laughs> it's a good aim right there you got. It's a good aim. You know what? We'll just take this guy out with the big one. Go ahead, stick your head out here. Come on now. Don't be scared. Let's move up. Maybe we can get a different angle on him. Or her. It's, and there's an ammo can up here anyways. And that. And some sugar bombs. Oh, she's got a limp it looks like. Nice shot. <laughs> there we go. Gotcha. All right, I think we can move freely now. Let go of me, wall. There's a couple of ammo cans, or at least one ammo can over here, too. Might as well pick it up. We got some bodies around. Jeez, you should have something to cover your bum up there just a little bit. What, you think this is a burlesque show or something? Raiders, you just never can tell what they're going to wear, if they're going to wear anything. Take that, definitely. Put that there. 
We're going to be getting close to done with Tinker Tom. Okay, uh, let's go to... What time is it? Five in the morning. Let's just go over here and turn these quests in real quick. And then go back to Bunker Hill. Heads up. Tom's got more. Hey there. Stop. With Check that latest one, Mila's got good coverage of the Commonwealth. You got the time? I got another site we could place another one of my babies. Okay, let's go. I don't know how oh, many there are. Just do some I think there's ten. Let's see what you got. You got it. It feels like there's ten. There might not be ten. We'll take all that. Hub 360. Oh, great. We don't want to get rid of that. We don't want to get rid of anything in here or there. We can hawk some of this things that we don't use. Okay. Does he have enough to... There. That's good there. Good. Oh, Desdemona. There you are. Securing a new route isn't glamorous. But it's still important work. Well, I don't know. If our runners can't move since safely out of the Commonwealth, the whole organization is paralyzed. Another job done. Keep assisting Randolph Safe House. They've got two more since in there. I don't want to lose them. Safe houses. Dayton, Griswold, Randolph, Mercer, Ticonderoga, and Stanwicks. That's it. Ally, Cash, Danger, Dead Drop, Safe House, and Pointer. Like a dog or something. Bet you never met a sin. Nope. Nope. Uh, now do we have... What I want to do is get these... Get a couple of quests for Bunker Hill real quick. Tell you what, this is the plan. I'm going to do... Let's do the Bunker Hill quests... And then I'll take a short break and build up some settlements. Uh, and then when I come back and do another video uh, after the Bunker Hill, then we'll do a little bit more Minutemen work and go from there. Um, and once we get uh, big guns or old guns, I can't remember the quest, I think it's old guns completed. Then we'll move forward and do a little bit more um, of the main quest. But I do want to get a couple of quests for Bunker Hill real quick. And we start that by talking to Deb. Load a little heavy there? I'll buy anything you don't need and sell everything you do. How about some work? You have any paying work? Yeah, I have something. It ain't easy though. Caravan is just love swapping tall tales, but I've heard one story enough times. There's got to be some truth to it Apparently the northern road goes straight through an old military training yard That's just crawling with a horde of feral ghouls and that's cutting into my bottom line Okay, so that. You take care of that and maybe I can throw a few caps your way I'm not doing the job for chump change. I'm tired of mercs blowing this off. Are ferals really that scary? fine Call it 175 caps. Would have been nice if they would added like a, a different kind of response other than snarky ones. Sounds like you need me a lot more than I need you on this. Clearing that road benefits everyone. I can probably get Kessler to chip in, let's say, 225 caps. If this helps everyone, maybe you can take a collection for the cause. You're worse than the caravan jockeys. I can probably scrape together 300 caps. I'm done negotiating. I'll take care of your feral problem. Great. If you want to stock up first, you never know when one of my knickknacks will keep you alive. All right. So, and then we'll get another one right over here. And this guy ten in the bar here will give us a Minuteman type. You're not with my hey, caravan. Hey, you. Don't bother me. Talk some sense into my numbskull son. Getting involved with the railroad is just trouble. What? Do I look like a therapist? It's always good to help people. I have no problem helping people. Since, though, 
All I do here is help They got the exactly the same hands. chin. <laughs> no offense. Go blind off rock gut. At least the railroad's fighting the Institute. And why not save sins? Might as well go off and join the Death Claw Preservation Society. <laughs> Trying to save sense sounds noble to me. I'm not alone in this, Dad. Enough. We got customers. Not they both have freckles, too. <clears throat> Bar's open. Just don't get so drunk you shoot up the place. Wouldn't want to get rid of you non synth savers. Do you have any work? Well, there is one thing. Dad, you're not going to send him on that same wild goose chase. Hey, he brought it up, not me. See, even the unofficial That's patch can't fix everything. Before us of all these started slinging rot gut for thirsty caravan hands, we came from a line of Minutemen. My grandpa, Brent Savaldi, was the last. He died fighting raiders just outside Malden. If you could find any of his personal effects, well, he didn't mean the world to me. Now, there's only one speech check for this, I think. If the price is right, I might help. Malden ain't the safest of places. I suppose I could spare 200 caps. That's a bar. You probably have plenty. It's okay. I'll find your grandpa. Just be careful, all right? I don't want any more deaths on my conscience. Now, the best thing out of this quest is actually the swim magazine that you don't get unless you do the quest. Um, so what I'm going to do here is we got a couple of quests. I'm going to head off and unload, and then we'll do these Bunker Hill quests next. So I want to say thanks for watching. We'll catch you next video.